In early October 2015, I was traveling solo as a musician to Monaghan, Ireland, and over there I played the Harvest Blues Festival. Well, I was busy that weekend, but whenever I had a chance to break away from the music scene, I met up with a fellow musician and Irish friend of mine, Richard Lyons. He took me to some of his favorite fishing spots near Coot Hill. Tradition is the mission. Tradition the mission. Et la mission. Wild Watson Outdoors. Ashfield. Because of all the ash trees. Polyhopal is the name of the place, but it's part of the Anna Lee River. Ah. It's really known for trout. <clears throat> well, y'all, we're going to catch some Irish trout right here with my buddy Rich. Rich Lyons, y'all. He's a native of this area right here uh, near Coot Hill. This is where we are fishing right there. Just like I dreamed, uh, if you look at the stream and everything, it's very beautiful. Beautiful, clear little river. And uh, just following Rich, he knows the way through. Yeah, so what we're gonna do here this morning is we're gonna catch some Irish trout. I ain't never caught Irish trout in my life. In uh, South Louisiana, South Texas, and all that area there. We're used to that Gulf of Mexico speckled trout, you know? So this is gonna be a really interesting experience. Just traveling through this Irish jungle here. And it's, uh, it's almost like a scene from a fantasy film. So we got a little tree that fell over into the, right over the river. And that's what we're using as our little bridge. You go cross over, as you can see, some other critters have been using it as a bridge too. The party's on. I mean, we just got here. We cast about three times so far. I've been getting bites every single time, and I caught my first Irish fish. So what is this right here called? That's a perch. A perch, huh? Yeah. That's a whole he's nother... Got a, he's got a spiky thing around his back there that can give you... Watch, see it? Yeah. He'll give you a right chat. It's funny because that perch looks exactly like a little bass or something, you know? When they say a bass is in the perch family. It's really interesting. So we're just using some good old earthworms today, huh? 
Good old worms. Good for the trout. See the wiggle on them? Throw it like that. Yeah, y'all, I just got my first freaking Irish trout. What do you think about that, Rich? That's a lovely trout. That's oh nice for eating. That's about a pound. A pound, a pound huh? Yeah, you can get them up to two, three pounds. Cool. Look Ooh. at this beautiful specimen. Smells really good, fresh. This little booger's ready to get back in the water, huh? He's like, oh. So this is a, what do you call that, a brim? A bream. Uh, not different from what we have. Bream. That's nice. You want to eat him? You wouldn't eat him. No, he's too. He's a bottom feeder. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> a little perch. <laughs> yeah. Ireland got the perch yet. But they will stick you. So you gotta watch out. Look at that. Woohoo! That's a nice size little perch chuck out there. Make some good pike bait. Well, I went back to me little hotel there. And I drank me another little Guinness, y'all. Went to sleep, got up the next morning, went straight back to fishing again. Oh yeah, Richie came and picked me up. He took me to Coot Hill. That's his hometown there. Pleasant little town, y'all. And uh, we stopped by his uncle's bait shop. The only bait shop in town. CJ's Fishing Tackle Live Bait. He had just about everything we needed in there. The worms, basically is what we needed to catch trout and small little hooks like perch hooks so we got our tackle went to go pick up a good old buddy of mr richard lyons canoe loaded up the car we we're right down them country roads and at it again Y'all, we're over here in, uh, still over here in the uh, Coot Hill area, I guess. But um, it's very beautiful and enchanting out here. Here with my buds, some of the best uh, tour guides. Y'all wanna introduce yourselves? Yo, my name is Caleb. Caleb right here, and his father actually um, tours people out, uh, charters people, takes them out and leads them on some good fishing tours. Um, where we are here, they call it Cricket River. We're not gonna have to really, uh, it's like a very skinny little stream, a little chute there. We're probably not even gonna have to really uh, cast or anything, just dip it in like you're going after some perch or something, you know? Y'all stay tuned, Wild Watson Outdoors. So what do y'all call that breed? Just Irish river trout? Uh, brown trout. Irish brown trout. Brown trout, yeah. Lovely fish. That's beauty. Get him, man. Couldn't make it to you in time, but you got you a nice one, huh? Yep. Well, okay. Yeah. We tratty waddy. That's gonna be perfect, man. Had a little bitty bite on it a while ago. Yeah. Get slime all over my mojo shirt. Yeah, y'all. That's not bad. It's beautiful. Good old Irish river trout. Man, he swallowed that hook again. Sad to say, y'all. Uh, any of y'all who fish a lot know that fish do swallow the hook sometimes. So some of these uh, trout here, I hate to hurt such a beautiful creature of God, but um. 
One thing I can tell you is their life will not be wasted in vain because we are going to cook them. I think I got a bite in here, so I felt something hit it. Oh yeah, cook, hey! Right underneath it. Cook. Let's try to get into a little cave or something. Holy moly! Good. Now that's a nice trout. Yeah. Good. I think we're gonna be eating good tonight, y'all. We're using just earthworms, y'all, right here in Ireland, catching these beautiful fish like this. Nice. So, that's perfect. This is the biggest one I caught since I've been here. So we may as well put it on camera mode and take a picture of this, like a nice shot, you know? Yeah. yeah. Hey Richie, what you got? Baby tried. It happened so fast, it's hard to film it. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty one. That's a wee baby. I got him degorged. Little sardine trout. Monster. Look at him, look at him. He's fucking racing about the place. Holy crap, come on. Bring him up, bruh. Woo! Champion. You got him. Well, mine's much bigger because I'm Wild Watson. You see. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely going to be great on the barbecue pit, huh? That'll be tasty, you know? That'll be feed us all. Yeah. Only in Ireland. Wild Watson Outdoors. Y'all, talk about a good day of fishing. I mean, we caught so many trout, it was too much just for us three to eat. So, we invited two of the best boxers in all of Ireland, the Harkin brothers, and also their friend Jerry, and we all just had a little picnic right along the Jumora River. So, I didn't clean about a good old, we must have had so many, I don't know how many fish we had exactly, but uh, this one in particular was female. She was full of eggs. As you can see right here, we got a lot of good old natural caviar. Yeah, let me get some of this and see how that tastes. Fresh eggs. If it'll come. Here, I'll just grab it with my nasty hands. Because I'm just nasty. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty good. Well, y'all, this is the real fish and chips right here. Come check this out. It's very uh, Ireland, Scotland, England, all over. You know, it's very popular to eat fish and chips, but this is the real deal. Potatoes grown in Ireland, fish right in the rivers of Ireland. Yep. Yep. If you would like to advertise your business or become a sponsor, just email wildwatsonoutdoors at mail.com or simply call 1-337-580-1941.